Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. In today's video, I'm excited to share with you a Windows PC app that can be used to live stream the Xiaomi cameras into your computer. So we have been waiting for this kind of an app to stream the Xiaomi cameras into your computer. And now finally it has come. The official app is from the Xiaomi subsidiary Emilab. It can connect to the cameras that are manufactured by Emilab only. But in this video, I'll show you how to add the other cameras the Mijia camera or the Xiaomi cameras and the Xiaomi V cameras that are available in the Mi Home app and you can add them manually and another thing is that officially the app doesn't support other regions other than China and India but in this video I'll also show you how to connect to the European or the American or the Southeast Asian uh, servers coming to the features of this app uh, this is a Windows app so it supports Windows 10 and other Windows OS and the app is in English language so that is good and it can live stream a one or four or nine cameras at the same time you can stream the videos over the LAN the local area network if your computer and the cameras are in the same network then it will stream over the LAN but if it is in the remote location then it will stream using the peer-to-peer -peer type or the relay modes and it has some playback features enabled for some of the media cameras and you can also take screenshots of the camera views in your desktop and there are two custom features that I have added one is that you can change the region from China to EU or US or Southeast Asia regions and one more feature is that you can add some additional cameras that are not officially listed from Emilab this app doesn't require any installation this is a portable app so you can just run it without any installation now I'll tell you how to use the app in my video description I have given a link to a zip file you have to download it the file is Emi camera D smart life windows pc app and you have to extract it to anywhere in your computer and once you have extracted it you have to open it and run the Emi camera.exe instead of going to the folder again and again you can create a shortcut you can send it to desktop or you can also pin it to start so let's send it to the desktop so once you have created the shortcut you can see the Emi camera shortcut so you can just run it and when you first run it it may ask for some permission and you have to just give the permission to run it anyway and every time you start the app since this is a custom app the windows computer will ask you for user account control and you can just say it as yes and then it will start the app and then in this interface you can log into your me account but this is in chinese i could not translate it but the actual interface will be in english so just log into your me account type in your xiaomi account email and password here and then you can click login here so once you have logged in it will start the app just wait for a while and then now it's starting the app as you can see i have four cameras here this login process is only for the first time and later on when you open the app it will be automatically logged in uh, as you can see the app is in English and you can sort the cameras you have based on the location this is the main gate and front porch and the garden and the office cameras and you can stream them as you can see you can stream them so when you first start the streaming of the camera it may ask for this kind of uh, permission to like uh, allow the uh, app through the firewall in that case you can just allow access to both public and private networks like this and if you allow access then it will not have any problem for connection so now you have allowed access to the app for viewing the cameras you can also see one camera four camera or nine camera views this is the nine camera view and as you can see i have only four cameras but it's showing nine tiles and if you switch to the four camera view then you can see like this and then you can also view a single view one camera view and you can also see the camera like this and in some of the cameras you can also use the playback function for example in this uh, Xiaomi outdoor magnetic camera uh, we can view a playback option here but in some of the cameras other cameras they, they don't have the playback option and you can also turn on the audio and if you turn on the audio you can listen the, to the camera audio through your computer but the audio can be playback only on one camera at a time and if you go to some other cameras they have the PTG option but the PTG option doesn't seem to work so it's useless if you point here you can see that you can switch the country the only two available countries are china and india but i'll tell you how to unofficially activate other regions like uh, european regions or america or southeast asia regions and the language can be english or chinese and and then you can also log out from the mi home app here one more feature that i want to talk about this app is that you can capture screenshots from your cameras like this and once it is captured uh, you can find it in your desktop so the default saving location is desktop and 
as you can see you can capture the uh, screenshots from the camera so if you want to change the region from the chinese server to your local server like the european server or american or the southeast asian server you just close the app and go to the location of your app that is the folder of your app and in there you find a file named config.dll you can open this config.dll using a notepad in my case i'm using notepad plus plus it is an advanced version of notepad when you open the file you can see that the language is one that is english and machine code is where you have to enter the region currently it is in the chinese region that is cn and if you want to change it to the european server then you can type in de that is the german server and if you want the us server then you can type us or if you want to connect to the southeast asian region then you can type sz that is a singapore server in my case i'll be using the singapore server because i have some more cameras in the singapore server and now you can open the app and the good thing is that you don't have to re-log in every time you change the region unlike a mi home app where you re-log in every time you change the region so i have three cameras in the singapore region but only one is online i will show you the example so it's now connecting to the camera in the singapore region and obviously it is faster because singapore is closer to my location you can still view the cameras based on the rooms and all the features are available except for the thing that you cannot go to the profile logo here if you go to the profile logo the app will crash i'll show you in a moment that is because when you hover your mouse over the profile logo it'll try to list the regions for changing the region and so on but since singapore or the other regions that you have added manually is not listed in the profile menu then it will crash so if you hover over the profile logo here it'll crash it doesn't matter you can just reopen the app so it is not a big problem so you just have to be careful not to go to the profile menu and other things that we want to know is whether it can stream the camera videos through Wi-Fi in a local network means that if you have the computer and the cameras connected in the same local Wi-Fi network whether it can stream through that actually it can do that so you can go to log.txt open the log.txt and if you open that one you can see that whatever camera that you have locally will be connected through LAN that is as you can see these are the local IPs of your camera and it says mode is called to LAN that means that these cameras are getting connected to your computer through over the LAN but if you move to another network then it will try to connect to the camera through P2P which is a peer-to-peer -peer type that means that uh, it is trying to stream the videos from your camera to the directly to your computer without any external server and in the worst case if you are in another country or something like that then it will try to connect through relay mode in the relay mode what it'll do is it will connect to the server then you try to stream from that server to your computer that is the relay mode so three modes LAN mode which is the best and the p2p is the second best and the relay mode is the worst case scenario now i'll show you the cameras that are not showing up in the windows pc app in order to do that just open the device profile.dll using a notepad like before and there you can see that the cameras that are being officially available in my case i have added the xiaomi panoramic outdoor camera and the xiaomi outdoor magnetic camera so these are the two cameras that i have added if you want to add like this kind of custom cameras that are not available officially in the app you have to go to the log.txt again like before and in there you can see this kind of a uh, message warning messages like th those smart devices that are being ignored so here you can see that the ignored models are not cameras like the xiaomi routers and other like the uv xiaomi uv lamps and all the other smart devices are being ignored by the app but in my case i can see that one of the camera that is a xiaomi magnetic outdoor camera and another camera is the xiaomi v camera as you can see here so if you see some cameras which are being ignored you can add them into your device profile like i have done here so just follow the format of the existing cameras and you have to do some trial and error you put the model name as shown in the log put the model name here and then you can write some of the features here like the pdg direction should be zero it, because it doesn't have the PDG function and in the case of video codec it will be 0 or 1 and others are not relevant only the important things are the video codec and the missed version and the full encrypt so sometimes it's uh, like the number is like this or sometimes it's 0 or sometimes it's 400 or 300 so these are the options i have already included these two cameras in the app that i have uploaded and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the video comments i'll link the custom software 
in uh, the video description you can download it from there i'll also give a link to the official version if you need uh, to install that one so these are the things that i wanted to share with you and uh, we have been waiting for this kind of uh, windows interface to the xiaomi cameras for a long time and uh, i hope you like the video and it is useful please like and share the video if you find it useful thank you for watching please consider subscribing and i'll see you next time